So the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is powerful and power efficient, got powerful CPU and GPU but is still based on phone and meter TSMC process like the 8 Gen 2. The iPhone 15 Pro's A17 Pro is not just powerful but very power efficient too thanks to 3 nanometer TSMC process and a powerful CPU and finally the Pixel 8 Pro Tensor G3 chipset is the least powerful of all because it's based on 4 nanometer Samsung's process and got not so powerful CPU or GPU. Now specifications and benchmark numbers may make one SoC look better than the rest but in this video we'll find out which one of these is the most powerful silicon in terms of real life usage. So we'll divide this test in three parts. First we'll do the speed test, I'll show you the max out graphics settings of some of the games. Second we'll test out the rendering speed and finally the benchmarks. Now initially this may look like a difference of a few seconds but as we open some more games and applications this become a difference of a few minutes and so on. And this test is just 4-5 to five minutes long so can imagine in real life a fast device with powerful chipset can literally save hours of your time. So the A17 Pro was the first to finish this test at 2 minute 10 seconds, the 8 Gen 3 at 2 minute 57 seconds, 8 Gen 2 at 3 minute 11 seconds and Tensor G3 at 3 minute 36 seconds. So it's not just a second or two but minutes and hours in long term usage. Running some high graphic games with ray tracing support and you guys can see the difference in graphics. This is War Thunder game and most shocking part is the A17 Pro default settings are set to higher than the 8 Gen 3 settings in this game and even support ultra high texture. The Tensor G3 however doesn't even support ray tracing in this game which is a shame. You guys can see in this screenshot iPhone got better graphics than the rest and turning on high texture may even mean higher quality graphics than the rest. Now in terms of rendering 4K and 1080p file, in in short exporting and rendering a 4K file was faster in the 8 Gen 2 than the 8 Gen 3 or even the A17 Pro. Most shocking part is A17 Pro was the slowest of all, 2 times slower than the 8 Gen 3 and even slight slower than the Tensor G3. In Adobe Rush however, the A17 Pro was the fastest of all, then was the 8 Gen 3 chipset, 8 Gen 2 and finally the slowest of all was the Tensor G3. Finally editing and rendering a massive 14,000 by 8,000 pixel image in Photoshop, an iPhone was really fast then was the 8 Gen 3 chipset, 8 Gen 2 and the slowest of all again was the Tensor G3. The shocking part is, in terms of viewing the image, the 8 Gen 2 had hard time and was lagging a lot. Finally, the benchmark and 3D mark was not working on the Xiaomi 14 Pro, so I went ahead with the N2210 and yeah, I know it is unfair to compare iPhone versus Pixel or Xiaomi N22 score, but we certainly can compare the CPU score, battery drain and throttling.
so the 8th gen 3 scored 19 lakh plus in n22 and was heating a lot at 44 and we saw 8 percent battery drain the iphone had a lower score but was the coolest of all with just 3 percent battery drain tensor was similar in terms of heating and battery drain but the score was 9 lakh which is the lowest of all. The 8 Gen 2 was shockingly heating less than the 8 Gen 3 with just 5% battery drain. Here's the Geekbench score and A17 Pro is on the top, then was the 8 Gen 3, then the 8 Gen 2 and finally the worst of all Tensor G3. So this all guys, you guys are the judge here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.